gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another adventure with us. You and faces. <laughs> I know I've mentioned that we live in a small town and we're always passing through small towns. Let me show you something. Do you see that right there? Not those people getting into their car, you know, putting all their groceries in the trunk right next to it. That's a lawnmower. For a small town, and you are redneck, if you are driving your lawnmower to the Dollar General store. <laughs> we stopped because we needed to get like Ziploc bags and stuff, but to, because we buy in bulk groceries because we live so far away from stuff. So we stopped to get Ziploc bags so we can freeze it separately. Really? Your lawnmower? I don't even know why I'm surprised. It's not the first time I've seen it happen. I've, I think that one, that one's at least still got a deck on it. I've actually seen them where they remove the deck and they drive around town in it. I really want to see someone come out the store's groceries and drive away on it. <laughs> yeah, same here. I don't know. I don't know. We had to go out, take trash to the dump, and then we ran to Walgreens and picked up some stuff and we went and bought some groceries, so. Head at home, get this all divided up, and then I guess I'm coloring Kristen's hair later. Um, and she decided to go two colors instead of one color, so this should be interesting. <laughs> there you go. Proof I wasn't lying. Somebody rode their lawnmower. Not only did they ride their lawnmower, they parked it in a parking spot. <laughs> so the more I let the thoughts percolate about the lawnmower, there's no difference in that and driving your golf cart to the store. Like, there's not. Like, oh, you have a golf cart, so you've got a lot of money, so you can drive your golf cart to the store. No. No, you shouldn't. Don't drive your golf cart to the store. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a rundown, raggedy-looking lawnmower, and I'm gonna drive it to the store in all these rich neighborhoods where they drive their lawnmowers, or where they drive their golf carts. So you know what, sir, ma'am, Whoever's riding the lawnmower, ride it with a chin up. All right, so I'm gonna color Kristen's hair. I'm usually the one that colors her hair, but this time she's gonna go splat ombre. So it's supposed to be like a two-tone color. I am in no way a professional at this. I goof it up all the time and she, she still continues to want me to do it, but Whatever, so we're gonna try this out and I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Um, let's put it this way, I do it enough that my hands are too big to wear the gloves that come with them, so I bought my own box of ex doctor gloves so that I don't stain my fingers, uh, just her forehead and ears. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse uh, with my other camera as we do it to see, uh, um, just, just this experiment. But anyways, we're gonna set it up and get going. So the first thing I have to do is bleach her hair. Um, that's got to sit for 30 minutes. I think it's going to rain. Uh, and then we'll color it afterwards and I'll show you. So, All right, that's what she looks like before I work my magic. So it was her hair was black. That's the last color I did it, but that's fading. Um, so you can see it's like black and brown and different colors. So I'm going to dye it purple and blue it looks like so here we go all right so the bleach is in now it's got to sit for 30 minutes to let the color fade the original color and then we'll add the other colors so there she is so time lapse is set up she's got to sit like that for 30 minutes i think we should have gone with four boxes uh, or at least an extra two boxes of bleach because her hair is so thick. She said two, so we'll see. We'll see. Allie's playing in the water slide because she's weird. That's, that's not even how you play in a water slide. Do not squirt water at me in the camera. I need the dog. get some more bleach so 
I keep joking with her that this is stressful. I colored her hair stressful because I freak out a little bit. Like I'm always worried that I'm gonna do something wrong and her hair is gonna fall out or it's gonna come out this ridiculous color. And I know it's just hair, but it's like, ah, this is stressful. Like I don't mind doing it, I love doing it for her. Um, she likes having her hair colored stuff, but this is stressful for a guy. Like I don't think they realize that. Anyways, so I ran to the store, grabbed some bleach, uh, because right now she looks like a Halloween decoration because it's like blonde in the roots on the top, but then it's like orange and black because just there wasn't enough bleach there. So go home, put some more bleach on it, and then color it. So, so yeah, by the way, I did all this in pouring down rain. Gentlemen, the things we do for the women we love. Just in case you didn't hear the rain. All right, finally got it as bleached as we think we can get it. Now we're gonna color it. So let's let's do it. You're stressing me out. All right, the final color of hair, Kristen's hair. So, so the color didn't really hold that well. Um, but it almost looks like we did it on purpose. So up under is like a real teal color. And then as it goes up, it kind of fades into that purple. Like an auburn color. And then the very top is like super purple. So... Not too shabby. Almost has like a rainbow effect to it. All right, so like I said, today's Sunday, it's the next day. I haven't combed my beard or my hair, so I got the hat on. Uh, we, just, we were waiting till the day after to see how the color panned out. Again, then we used the splat, and I think because her hair was so dark when we started, then we had to bleach it, and then because of the bleach, the color didn't hold that well. I think if we were to recolor it in a week or two weeks, give her time, give her hair time to recoup, it would probably turn out really well, and the color would take. The purple seems to be the one that didn't take the best. The green did, or the teal did. Um, I like it. I think it's cute. She's a little iffy about it. Um, I told her I was like, my new name is Vinchwa. I would be the hair color Vinchwa that come from miles around. Um, anyways. So today's Sunday, we're gonna try and hit the beach today. So we're gonna end this video and go see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. It did start raining yesterday and it looks like it's rained this morning. I'm hoping we can get to the beach and it not rain because I wanna do some time-lapse videos and stuff. So here we go. Love you guys, till tomorrow.